Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. So these are the cars that I bought in the last session. The FMW and I, I noticed that I kept saying FMV, I don't know why, but it's FMW Panther. And this is the Sakura Supa which we bought from the salvage auction. I'm going to do this car because this is clearly the Toyota Supra. There is, there has been a mod added to the workshop, the Toyota Supra GR right here. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, by default it was not found in the junkyard. It was only in the salon or the auction. So I added it to the config file to see if I can get it to show up there. Uh, I kind of want to make a quick turn through the junkyard and the auction just to see if I can find a Zonda because I did add the Paganis to the to the junkyard for the con uh, I did add junkyard to the config files for the two Paganis the three rather and I still want to find one so we're gonna bounce out there real quick and just take a quick look around okay here we are and it cannot be this easy look at that that's a Hoyer that's a Pagani Hoyera right there on the spot which one are you? Are you the Tempesta? No, you're the Hoyera. Well, that that's anticlimactic. <laughs> Can't believe that after all the effort I went to to find one, I finally found this one so quickly. It's only 20 grand, too. So this should be a good deal. We're going to buy it. And I'm going to make a quick pinch since we're here. Go ahead and make a quick pass. I should have taken a picture of that car. That's one of the Mayan something or others. I can't believe it. I do, I'm really just shocked out of my mind that that car showed up Af after all the effort I put to getting one. That looks like a straight ahead. I think that's... I'm not sure what that is, but I think it might be something. <laughs> Well, here, nothing there. Ah, there's a Hellcat. Or no, this is, uh... This is, you know, it is a Hellcat, and it's a Hellcat with a supercharger. Huh. I am tempted. Supercharged V8. What the hell? 7500? No room in the garage, so it's going to have to go to parking. I have to remember that that car is there. Look at that! Oh. Okay. So maybe we're doing a Pagani today. Because that is the Zonda. Oh man, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I'm just. Oh, find none of them in the junkyard, and now we find two right off the bat. I am. <laughs> oh God, I I just I, I I I can't even speak coherently anymore. I'm just shocked. What else is in here? Thank God I chose to walk around. Uh, don't want you. There was something over here, I think. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a DeLorean. Okay, and anything else? That looks that's a Bizzarini. The last the first Bizzarini I did was actually from a barn, and this is a junkyard version. I think I'll go ahead and buy this too, just for the hell of it. Wow, okay, so I think we've bought everything in here that was worth buying. Uh, man, I just I, I just can't get over that they were suddenly here after not being here. Well, let's get out of here. Okay, and it's, they're going to, one of those is going to be out here. I want to, ah, uh, God, I need more spaces out here. God, this is killing me. Let's move you 
I gotta take a picture of it too. Okay, let's move you to there. And then I've got to find that Zonda and move it. Move you to the garage. Ah, you frickin'. Had to go outside. Put you in the parking for the moment. Don't let me forget that's there. <laughs> Uh, can I get here from here? I think, yeah. Parking. Sonda Revolution. And move you to there. Leave the Supa outside because I want to do that still. And there we go. Two Paganis in the shop. And we're going to do this one. So let's move this. How much were you again? You were paid 35, down by 4, so it's worth 31 at the moment. Really like this green already, too. Okay, let's move you back. And it's already up because it's missing it's missing one wheel. And this is probably going to end up being expensive because it's missing a lot of body parts. Um Okay, let's go see if we can repair any of this crap. What happened there? I noticed that... Or that must be the final cost to finish repairing it, I guess because it started low and then I saw the number jump up. I haven't really noticed that before. I wonder if it's because it's carbon fiber parts and you have to go through multiple extra steps to repair them. I have to raise the car to get to that anyway. Now 
Now I remember in the in 2018 the actually this is the Zonda the Hoyara had uh, like one set of performance exhausts for the Hoyara that was usable on both that car and the Tempest version. thing up. I know it still needs a radiator. That's not where I wanted you to go. I like how you can use a welder to fix a carbon fiber car though. That always amused me. I couldn't repair that, I don't think. Nope. That is the wrong place. Just got to figure out what fuses it needs. We can button all this up. Okay, that should be all of that stuff. No, it's not, because that goes somewhere, unless I bought two. But there was a bunch of stuff that came off this car that we didn't fix. Yeah, there, there, that goes there. So what do I have? The front clamshell and the left side mirror. And that goes there. I should just buy everything, right? Because I had the, the clamshell and the mirror, just buy everything else. And I don't think that this car actually had a front license plate. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah, if it had a front plate, it would want it already. When I put the uh, uh, when I put the clamshell on. So 
So that should be 100% on the body frame and interior. Yep. Let's go and paint you. So the factory color is that. That's not pleasant. How about... Hmm. That doesn't... Well, maybe. I wanted to go green, and metallic I think looks pretty good. This thing is really glisteny. You notice that? Yeah, I think that'll work. I did a. This remind it reminds me of the the first Zonda that I did in twenty in twenty eighteen. The very first one I did, and I and I was do I was I thought I was recording a video for it, but as it turned out, um, OBS was not recording. So I found one of these things in the junkyard, fixed it, made it look good, drove it, sold it, and then found out I had no recording. Hopefully, <laughs> history does not repeat itself on me. car comes with slick tires by default. They know that it's uh, too much car for the rather standard tires. I'm surprised how few of these bolts are uh, rusted on, though. Seems like the last car I did, practically everything was frozen. This one is not near as many. There's a few, but not as many. Get that engine out. Get the tires dismounted, see if we can use these again. That was overall 27%, so maybe we'll be able to use it. Yeah, 36. This one actually has specific wheels for the front and rear.
That one was 13%. That's not a good sign. And this one doesn't look very good either. Eleven percent. Bummer. I don't want to be here yet. Okay, double wishbone shock absorber, front and rear. Okay, and it doesn't have a front cross member, so... That should be 16 bushings total. 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 16. Okay, now let's that's not what I want. Let's see. That's the easy stuff. Uh yeah, those are shot. Let's go back here and see what we need to get rid of. There's not going to be three of these. I don't know why I marked that three times. And that is... I need to look at these. Okay, 335, 30, 20. Three thirty five thirty twenty, that's correct. Two fifty five thirty five nineteen. that, so that's good. I'll go break down the engine and then see what we can repair.
There's one cap there. And one here. We'll try to repair those. Not, not going to reuse them though because there are performance versions in the store. And all the pistons will just go into the trash. have to remember to buy 12 of everything. <laughs> I think this engine has five crankshaft caps though. Now the coil pack is for the Hoyera engine. This one uses standard coils. Four pages worth of stuff here. Okay, that went pretty well. Um, I, for, I should have just gotten rid of the... Uh, I need to clear that. Should have gotten rid of the timing stuff. I know all that stuff is not repairable.
Yep, I remembered correctly. There's five crankshaft caps, and of course one for each of the pistons. I think this is a bit too much though, I mean, I can assemble V8 engines all day and be happy. Doing one of these is like, there's so much to it that it gets kind of tedious. Though I think that in uh, 2018, a lot of the mod cars that were like, you know, supercars, Ferraris and Bugattis and Lamborghinis and whatnot, they used the Pagani engine almost exclusively in those cars in the mods and there was a period of time when I did so many of them that I was I quit doing them period I just was not gonna touch them anymore because I was sick to death of them <laughs> and this one is I don't know I still want to I mean I still really want to get this car done and drive it and play with it, but it, I do remember a time when I was like, I ain't touching any of these things ever again. And I do think that these, yep, they're here. Now this exhaust manifold I know has two pieces. Yep, there it is, like that. Okay, that thing up here is a cover. And this this is something that always bothered me because this performance part, I mean, I've said before, and I'm sure anybody who's watched me for more than two minutes knows that I like red. And this this thing is gorgeous, but it's got this cover that will completely block it out. You won't be able to see it anymore. And I hate that. <laughs> Uh, and 
and I need like a billion of these. I think it's uh, I think it's actually like 12 per side. I'm gonna get like that's not gonna be enough, but I don't want to get too many. See, it covers it all up. I hate that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten. There's Twenty of them total. As this, as tedious as this part is, it is still not as bad as installing a whole bunch of rocker arms, though. Okay, two, four, six, eight. See, that's something that I bet would look good if it was painted brighter, but I don't think when I don't think the engine is visible from the outside when the clamshell is on. Okay, so there'll be a, there another belt, and I think the belt tensioner, thermostat, water pump pulley. I should have bought those. I know this thing takes two water pump pulleys. I do like this part. Watch how, you see the thermostat, how it sits here on top of the water pump? And it goes, it's connected to the each engine head. This is the only engine in the game where you can see this connection. I, and I appreciate that. Okay, that should do it for this thing. Don't think it's possible to touch it from the outside, though. It was always a pain in the ass before. Because you can't touch it from the outside to do any servicing, so the clamshell has to come off. 
need to get the wheels dealt with, though. It's on to rear 20. It's on to front 19. Zonda Rear 12? What the hell? Did I buy a 12? Are you kidding me? Yep, I did. I'm an idiot. Let's see here. Okay, I want to. I'm gonna paint the calipers on this one. I don't think I have that. Yeah. Okay, now... Oh, I gotta get that. Why do I feel like I'm... Oh, that's what's wrong. I couldn't see any of these things from in there. This is what keeps happening, I've noticed, as a contrast from 2018. Um, cars in 2018 never were missing parts like this. I mean, they, they always had everything, even if most of it was broken from being in the junkyard. But, uh, like, I took off everything and repaired what I could, but there were still pieces that weren't there from the get-go. So it took... I had to remember to... I mean, I always forget... I always forget exactly what I need until I go to install it and realize I don't have it. Okay, let's try... I want to try something. See if these rims are paintable. They are. Do I, ha I don't have four calipers, though.
wonder if I have four of everything. Three cylinders. I'm going to paint these red so they'll stand out behind the wheel. and then let's see if we can do anything with this. Oh, it paints just the centerpiece. Wonder if it would be worth it to do like that. Gloss or you know what, I'm going to do that because it's the same color as the body even though I think it's lighter on this. On this. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. At least it'll be uh, consistent with the rest of the car. went the long way around on that one, didn't I? That really kind of reflects in there, doesn't it? This is definitely brighter, more metallic than the old one. In 2018, these rims were just yellow. They weren't like this burnished bronze almost. Yeah, they're definitely too bright. I should have darkened those up. That car should be 100% now, though. Yep. So can I reach the engine? I don't think I can. Let's just do it this way.
Are you going to make me take this off? You, oh, you're first. You've got to be kidding me. one of those things I'm going to have to remember from now on. Get these engines that uh, don't want to cooperate once they're fully assembled. I mean, the, 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 the thing, the bottles and stuff can clip through everything else, but occasionally there's something they can't. Okay, now... I don't think there's... Oh, the brake, the brake servo is down here. I really hate that I can't see the fill line from here, though. Okay, and that should be all of that. So are you done? You're done. Excellent. Now... Yeah, I'm really not happy with those. Damn it. I knew I should have made that darker, a darker green. It looks like a light bulb in there. I'm not taking it apart, but I won't do that again. Those weren't too far off. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I didn't mean to put you out here. Ugh. Okay, now we're in the right place. So 800 horsepower. As I recall, this thing would got to like 1,200 easily. So let's see. someone if they're not experienced driving high performance vehicles. I like I really like the green on the body. I just I, I, w I wish I'd listened to myself and made that green darker. And the seats look different too. Let me get out of this thing real quick. The seats look they look like they're leather. I mean, they look better. They look better than they did. Walked right through the door there. Yeah, the, the seats look 100% better. I've noticed this in a lot of the cars. The, the seats, the upholstery in particular, looks a lot more real than it did. Okay, let's take it for a spin. 271 miles an hour is the maximum speed we've reached so far. Let's take a look. See that green that looks on the body that looks really, really good. I'm really pleased with that. 
If I were going to keep this, I would take those wheels apart and change that color. I'm not going to keep it, but I would change that. But anyway, I guess I can live with it since it's going to go away here in a moment. shooting off the end of the runway. 136, wow. I would not have expected that. It must be, I I, I'm sh I guess I would really have to get into the, the transmission gearing and change it to try to make it go faster. There's no way that should be the top speed. I mean, I built six cylinder engines that went faster than that. Even, I'm not even really into this car. I don't really care for this kind of swoopy body style, even though I'm really happy with the green. Uh, but man, 136 miles an hour, that's really, really, really disappointing. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so the only question remaining to be answered is, how much are you worth? And that is going to be $373,000. That is, that is pretty good. I mean, that, that car that we did the other day, the uh, Delray, no, the, not Delray, the Echos Imperator that was only like 187000 This is, I'm much happier with that. So, yeah, that's the Pagani Zonda. And, yep, time for you to go. don't really have that much to say about it, because I just, I honestly don't care for that car that much. Where, where did that other thing go? Was it in the paint shop or the... No, it's in here. I'm surprised it actually went here. Oh, it has all of its wheels. That's why it managed to go here. Okay, I was going to do this thing, but I think next time we're going to do the Hoyara and uh, see where we get. Because th this car has a twin turbo engine, which should be a bit more grunty than that other one. Cool. Okay, so that's going to wrap this one up. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you again here for our next Junkyard Adventure, because that's what this was. So on that note, bye for now.